Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now that I'm going to be doing a video that has been requested by quite a few of you guys now and it is essentially going to be all of the parts and tools that are required to do the N47 and N57 timing chain replacement. Now bear in mind that some of these parts are going to be optional and um, you know you don't need to replace all of these parts I'm going to be mentioning um, but it's kind of one of those situations that while you're in there you may as well do it anyway now for all of the parts and tools that i'm going to be listening in this video there will be links down in the description box below so you don't need to ask me where do i get this from where do i get that from all of the links will be down in the description box so the first thing that i'm going to mention and this is something that is of course optional is an engine hoist or engine crane whatever you want to call it and this is of course if you plan to remove your engine now if you want to do it with your engine in situ uh, you'll basically just need to lower the transmission or the gearbox off of the back of the engine now in my opinion if you are planning to do this job uh, yourself from home on the driveway I would not do this method I would not drop the gearbox off I would remove the engine uh, and it's kind of the reason that I chose to go down the route of removing the engine because, yeah, I really didn't like the fact that I would have to lie on the cold ground trying to reach up in a tiny, tiny space to try and remove parts and, you know, talk things up. I would, just wanted to have the comfort of taking the engine out and doing it in my own time. So if you want an engine hoist and an engine crane, I will leave one down in the description box below of course the next thing that i'm going to recommend is that you get a decent timing toolkit now you want one that has the crankshaft locking tool and also the uh, camshaft locking tool as well a lot of the cheaper toolkits out there just contain the uh, camshaft locking tool but if you're going to be replacing you know all three chains then you do need the camshaft locking tool as well the next thing then is a pretty important thing that is the timing chain kit itself now it is important to get a timing chain kit which contains iWiz chains now iWiz they are the manufacturer of the genuine BMW chains of course you can go genuine BMW for these parts you know for the whole entire timing chain kit it's going to be pretty pricey um, and it's not really needed. The uh, FAI kit that I use contains the uh, genuine iWiz chains and it comes with the RTV sealant and everything you need to do the job basically. The next thing then is the engine sump gasket or the oil pan gasket, whatever you want to call it. And for this, I would recommend buying an L ring gasket. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure that these are the OEM. Uh, gaskets for BMW especially around the time period when the M47 and N57 was produced and uh, yet yeah, to be honest I've never had an issue with an L ring gasket they are top quality so yeah you know they're not expensive again link will be down in the description though the next thing then is another gasket that is going to be the rocker cover gasket so the rocker cover on the N47 and N57 is plastic and it actually has a rubber gasket inside of it again I would recommend an L ring gasket the next gasket then and it's actually something that I didn't even replace myself thinking back I probably should have though and it is the oil filter housing gasket now a lot of people have told me that they've had issues with their oil filter housing gasket uh, leaking I've never had that issue so I really can't comment on that um, but yeah, I guess it really does make sense if you are removing your engine to replace the oil filter housing gasket at the same time. Again, for that, I would recommend L-Ring. Now we're going to take a quick break because we're going to be talking about today's video sponsor, which is Carly. And if you have never heard of Carly, then what rock have you been living under? Now, if you don't know what Carly is, essentially it is a wireless device and a phone app which essentially allows you to do the diagnostic report for your car they cover a bunch of different makes but in particular uh, bmw they are well supported for those and um, you can do a lot of different coding features and things like that as well now we are going to be doing a quick little diagnostics check of my car just to kind of see what health she is in and just kind of go over how the app really works so then we have our carly dongle connected to the obd2 port and we are on the phone now we're gonna 
select connect and we'll let this thing connect okay then so we are going to do a health check first and foremost and apparently it is very bad at the moment this car but we'll see about that so then we're going to go to check for issues and this may take a couple of minutes so we'll let it do its thing and there we go then two issues found apparently diagnostics complete so the health status is now acceptable apparently we have two issues so i guess two fault codes one in the cas system let's have a look what it is error a c k cal l k l one five off before request not serious now if you want you can select search for more information i believe this just does a google search yeah you know it doesn't really tell you a great deal about it but it will uh, kind of you know see if google has anything to say about it uh, but we'll go into the other one which is in the with with regards to the rain light sensor no response and i kind of find that hard to believe because the automatic wipers are working as you can see so i don't really know what this is for but we will clear it anyway this could just be a historic fault code so we'll just go clear issues so there we go then that is just a quick diagnostics check with carly it's a handy little thing to have in your pocket i guess now how in depth is it i really don't know i guess we should um, you know spend some more time with this thing if you would like to see a full video of me going over the features maybe you know trying out some of the coding features and whatnot do let me know in the comment section below but for now that is carly now, if you would like to try out Carly yourself, there will be some links down in the description box below. So if you are interested, feel free to check them out. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so the next part that you are 100% going to need is some new injector seals. Now those are the copper washers that sit on the bottom of the injectors. And for these, I would recommend Bosch injector seals. Now the standard injectors are Bosch, so yeah, you really can't go wrong with the inject seals being Bosch either. Now they are only cheap, you know, you don't need to buy cheap Chinese ones, please just buy the genuine Bosch ones, they're not expensive. Now kind of on the topic of injectors, I would 100% recommend buying an injector seat reamer toolkit. Now essentially what this is, is a little tool and it kind of goes down into the injector wells and cuts and resurfaces the injector seats so you know if your car has covered a hundred thousand miles or so there's a good chance that you will have a lot of carbon build up in the injector wells and this needs to be cleaned out you need to have a like mirror finish down there before you um you know before you replace your injectors because if not then your injectors may sit one millimeter too high and then you're going to be allowing fuel to bypass the injectors and it's going to come out onto your rocker cover and all sorts so you want to make sure that your injector seats are pretty spotless before you uh reinstall them so with this get yourself an injector reamer kit again they're not expensive um, but it's just going to make your life a lot easier the next thing then and this is not needed but it is something that i would recommend if you are removing your engine and that is your glow plugs and the glow plug module so obviously if you have the n47 engine you're going to need four glow plugs and a glow plug module if you have the n57 engine you're going to need six glow plugs and a glow plug module now it makes sense to do this while you have the engine out because if for whatever reason you know any of the glow plugs snap and you find that you need to remove the cylinder head then you know you've already done half the job you've removed the engine completely you're going to be removing the timing chain locking the camshafts and the crankshaft so if you need to take the head off now's the perfect time now i would also recommend removing your intake manifold at this time as well now if your car again has covered a hundred thousand miles or so your intake ports are going to be absolutely filthy with the exhaust gas recirculation valve you know letting all those sooty exhaust gases in then your crankcase uh, ventilation breather you know 
putting oil back through your intake essentially that makes for a sticky oily carbon mess and it really is restricting restricting your intake ports so i would recommend giving your intake ports a good clean now we'll link in the description box uh, a link to a good little uh, toolkit which contains various brushes and things like that as well and that's exactly what i done when uh, when i done my time and chain kit i gave all the intake ports a good clean out and uh, yeah pretty much good as new now now there is a few more things but these are pretty much basic uh, service items that you would expect if you are removing your engine so obviously you're going to need some engine oil you're going to need an oil filter so for engine oil I use Manol 5w30 7918 I believe the uh, code is a link of course will be down in the description box below uh, and then for oil filter i either recommend bosch or man either one of those you're going to be golden i'd recommend for coolant it, to be honest it doesn't really matter which brand you go for i use the febby bilstein kind it's the exact same as the genuine bmw just slightly cheaper and then you also have the option of replacing your power steering fluid as well and this depends on if you want to keep your power steering pump on your engine when you remove it or if you want to remove it from the engine like what i done so i didn't have to disturb any of the power steering lines um, but yeah if you want to keep it on the engine and just you know re remove all the hoses you may as well drain all the fluid and do a complete entire flush so yeah if you want some power steering fluid i'll leave a link in the description box below but yeah that's pretty much it i really can't think of anything else that i would recommend to be honest um yeah of course if you have any questions leave them down in the description box below i'll try and direct you to the best possible place to purchase parts or tools and um yeah i hope this video has been helpful so if you have enjoyed it please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i will see you all in that next one peace